What's up, everybody? So, this is, it's been a long time since I've made, since I've made a video. And, uh, sorry, I sound like a babbling idiot, but it's whatever. I'm just making stupid videos. But, yeah, um, this is a product review. <laughs> so, this is a piece of crap. It's just supposed to be a, um, a saw, M249. And... And uh, it's an LMG. And yeah, it's a BB gun. It shoots plastic airsoft pellets. But yeah, here's the box. In all its glory. Um, some cool little cartoons here. Yeah, spring loaded. And this is actually a, a springer. It's a pump gun. So let me unbox this real quick. That aside, there it is in all its glory. So yes, this thing is tiny. It's adorable. And it comes with no manual. These 12 gram BBs. And a tiny drum mag. Don't know how much this holds, probably like 10 BPs or so. Loads in like this. And how you cock it is you actually pump the barrel here. So as you can tell, this does not lock back. So it arrived broken, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So anyways, one of the cool things is it has an integrated bipod and let me get rid of the box. I'm sure you guys. Let's see. So I think this is a 1 6 scale. That was $9 online on Amazon or Evic. And has flip up sights. And that's it. There's your mini. Oh, I can actually hold it up to the sights. Yeah. So you, you guys know me. I don't leave anything unmodified. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do with this, and also I'm gonna show you how big it's supposed to be. I think this is one six scale. I think. So, all right. This heavy son of a gun right here is an actual size saw m249 so this one's seen better days it's uh, missing some bolts but it's like a little tiny baby brother compared to the the actual sized one so this uh, comes with a drum box mag right here and this is where it feeds from yeah, and it has a crappy hop-up unit so anyways let me show you what I'm going to do with this thing. Put that aside. This this thing is like I don't know how heavy this is. It's probably hard to guess. Probably like 10 pounds. Super heavy. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually going to HBA tap this thing. So how I'm going to do that is. A little bright. I'm going to install a Inferno Gen 1 in there. So I do have an Inferno Gen 2 and I do have a Pulsar Jack, but this is what I have extra. So this is going to go inside right here, right about right there. And you have to make room for the solenoid and make room for the hop up and all of this. So I'm going to have probably a 10 inch barrel or maybe, maybe I can go all the way to the end and have a 130 or a hundred or sorry, 300 millimeter inner barrel, which is about the size of an inner useful inner barrel for any, uh, airsoft gun. Anything further than that, 300 millimeters is uh, overkill, I guess you can call it overkill, but, uh, but yeah, so I do want my gas or my airline to be routed to the grip like so. And I'll, I'll coil it so it goes down the grip like there. 
and I have a battery right here. And this is the Max Hollow Unit, one of the original ones with the LED light, which is pretty nice. And I 3D printed this mate, this mate between the Max Hollow Unit and the any HPA engine. So I can put a Jack here, I can put Inferno here, Inferno Gen 2, any of the Wolverine products, uh, HPAs, I can put it here. So this is pretty sweet. And oh, I need to show you something. I'll do it in another video, but a lot of uh, your speedy boys kind of shy away from uh, Wolverine products because they think they're slow. And that is true back then, but now uh, Wolverine, their new SCUs are actually uh, fast and you can walk them just as fast as you can walk any uh, Polar Star gun. So yeah, Polar Star is not the only option now. You can totally go for uh, Infernos or Wolverine products, but yeah. So I have to 3D print a mount to grab onto this right here, and then I have to cut this right here and extend it forward to give me room to fit this right here. Whoops! <laughs> I got a preemie right here. Okay, so sorry for the premature BB ejaculation, but yeah, this is supposed to go right here, and I want to keep all of this original looking so I'm gonna 3d print a, a uh, extension right here so I'll try to make it look like original and uh, it'll, it'll look pretty good so it'll look something like that and I don't want to turn that sideways again because it's gonna splooge everywhere <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it this plus this plus one of these magazine tubes right here the spring will go here and then this I can actually uh, where's the big one ah, I can actually get this onto the feeding lips on the uh, on the max top up unit here so all you do is uh, rotate this come on There you go. And that's it. So in theory, I could just plug this up, plug it in right here, and then plug the air tank into it and pull the trigger on the trigger board and shoot <laughs> if I had a barrel there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Real simple and straightforward. So don't ask me for STLs. I don't give STLs out because the second you give something out for free, someone's going to print it and sell it and make money off of your designs. So that's that's a big reason why I haven't been on lately because uh, I don't want anyone stealing my ideas. So, I mean, you can do the idea, but don't steal my, you know, whatever. So and that's happened a few times now. So what else? Um, yeah. So this will be considered a LMG. It'll look, it looks like an LMG, it just happens to be a uh, 1-6 scale. And I can use it at fields that allow um, LMGs to full auto. So I'll be able to full auto people with a lightweight contact build. Oh, I want to show you something else. Okay, so this is something that I didn't really get credit for before. So this is uh, another LMG. And this is actually a body kit to make any any uh, M4 or AR style uh, airsoft gun into a LMG. So <laughs> you can take this and heck, you know what? You can put anything inside of there. So. Here's an Echo 1 Gat. I can actually shove it inside like so. And boom, there you have it. A super lightweight <laughs> Echo 1 Gat that is an LMG. That's that's airsoft for you. So if it looks like an LMG, you're in the LMG class. So yep, super lightweight. This actually has a barrel and receiver inside of it. So yeah, I, I made this for someone and they didn't give me proper credit for it and they 
I said something to them, and that person actually does reviews on pieces of crap, and uh, he happens to be a piece of crap too. But I gave him the gun, uh, Polisard, Polisard UK Arms LMG, and then he took my credit. He's kind of racist too, and uh, the way he wanted me to do the video with him, he's <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty. It's disgusting how racist he does not know he is. So anyways, um, I made this. He was supposed to give me proper credit for it. He And I called him out. He gave me credit on his video. And then a couple weeks later, he removed my, my, uh, my uh, tag. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, utter bullcrap. So, like, why do you, why would you ask me to make you something and then not give me full credit for for what I've made so just letting you guys know be careful what you do for people they are there's a lot of scumbags out there that will take what you do and try to profit off of it and get you know 200,000 views off of one video over your effort and call you a Filipino Sony Tony Stark, which I'm not Filipino, Filip a Filipino, and I'm that's just ignorant. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm working on this, and next week I'll do a uh, I'll take this apart on video and I'll show you how I will fit that inside of there. All right, guys, take care.